National Peace Committee, security agencies, participating political parties, local and international observers, all present at the International Event Center, the Dome, in Akure to witness the signing of peace accord ahead of the next week election. Former head of state and head of National Peace Committee, retired General Abdul Salam Abubakar, urged the party leaders to accept the outcome of the election as long as it is free and fair for the purpose of peace. It has indeed remained one of the relatively peaceful states in the country. Your Excellency, I commend you and all your security agencies for keeping on the state peaceful. I therefore urge all of you to remain resilient in averting any threats of violence and maintaining the peace in the state as we are only a few days away from elections. Chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, reassured the public that the election will be peaceful as all relevant stakeholders have been engaged to ensure success. I am confident that with the signing of the peace accord today, the proactive measures taken by the security agencies, the roles played by our esteemed and respected traditional rulers, community and religious leaders, civil society organizations, the mass media and all other stakeholders, the Ondo 2024 governorship election will, by the grace of God, be peaceful. Reacting, Inspector General of Police, represented by the Deputy Inspector General, Sylvester Alabi, announced that the command, with the support of other sisters agencies, will deploy over 43,000 personnel to all the polling units. The Yap Police Force will deploy a total of 36,000 657 personnel to the police units towards and local government areas, collision centers, as well as other strategic locations. This will be complemented by other security agencies, the armed forces, intelligence security agencies, and other supporting forces will be deployed to augment the police strength. This will bring the total number of security personnel deployed for the election to 43,457 personnel. He warned against violence before, during, and after the exercise, saying all violators will be prosecuted accordingly, while conversing votes, buying of votes, will not be tolerated. Convener of the Peace Accord, Archbishop of Shukoto, Martin Kuka, led the signing while the candidates signed the peace pact. Speaking on behalf of the contestants, Undo State Governor Loki Ayedatua assured that all the tenets of peace in the state will be maintained and sustained. I know before the election we are already peaceful, but during the election on the D day we should remain peaceful, and after the election it should, be, it should be peaceful. And that can only be if we all accept the outcome of the election, which, on my honor, I promise, and on behalf of all the candidates, that we abide by the outcome of the election. Thank you and God bless. High points of the event include presentation of election assessment by Yaga Africa or Moniola Mbiji, OSROC News.